Hello everyone and welcome to Kiswick Chapels of the Chew with Pastor Robert for September the 10th. I'm so excited that you've chosen to join me today. As a recap, I want to remind you of a few things. First of all, that the message this past Sunday from Pastor Bud Reedy was God is gracious and this is part of the God Selfie series that he has been doing and will be doing up until Advent. So I want to encourage you to go look at that message to listen to that message and watch it if you haven't already. You can find it on the CFCN Church of the Nazarene dash Charlottesville Facebook page. Again, that's the Facebook page is CFCN Church of the Nazarene dash Charlottesville. You can also find the Choose posted there, and you're more than welcome to go back and review those if you haven't seen them or been a part of them. They're there for you, and if you have and you just want to go back and remind yourself, they're five to seven minutes long. I think they'll be a blessing to you, and I want to encourage you to do that. Well, God is gracious. We started off looking at Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, and talking about that at the throne in the throne room of God, at God's throne, we find grace and mercy in our time of need. And then we looked at the church is made up of you and I, the, the body of Christ, the believers of Jesus Christ. We make up the body of Christ and we make up the church. The church is not necessarily the building that we go to. It is a place where we gather and we worship together and this is a beautiful thing. It's a necessary thing. But that is not the church. The church is you and I. And so we talked about that, and we talked about that at length, and we talked about how folks, when they come to church, when they come to the building where we meet, or when they engage you and I, they should be finding God's love. They should be finding mercy and help and the humility of Christ within us and prayer and our testimony of what Jesus is doing for us and has done for us. And then yesterday we looked at Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 and Titus chapter 2 verse 11. We looked at that because there we found that grace is at the heart of of our salvation, that this is what God intended all along, his grace. And so I ask you to chew on three things. First of all, that we cannot earn salvation, period. End of discussion. It is a gift of God. Second, that salvation is for everyone born and everyone who will ever be born. God's gift of salvation is for everyone. Then thirdly, we looked at the fact that our faith, the, the Christian faith, is the only religion in the entire world where salvation is not based on works. It is based on faith. Every other religion, you have to do something in order to earn salvation. So then today we're going to look at another truth, and this comes from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. I want to encourage you to grab your Bible and to read along with me. And to read aloud if you're in a place where you can do so. So it will be a blessing to you. It will challenge you to read it aloud. And it, yet it will be an encouragement to you. So 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be, both, be glory both now and forever. Amen. Father, we love you. We thank you for your word. We ask that you would be honored and glorified. Lead us and guide us. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear, Father. We want to bring glory and honor to you by growing in our faith. Help us today, Father, to receive your truths. In Jesus' name, amen. So why do we need to be growing in grace and knowledge? Well, there's four things I want you to consider today. I want you to think about deeply and to chew on, and that is this. First of all, that in order for us to know the difference between the truth and the false teachings that are running rampant in the world today, we have to know the truth. So we need to be absorbing ourselves in God's word and in prayer and learning and growing so that we can, second point, mature in our faith so that we can grow in grace and become stronger in what we believe because we step out on faith and God helps us to grow. Third, so that we can be in a witness and an example to one another in the body of Christ, so that we can be an encouragement to one another. And then lastly, we want to be a witness to those seeking the truth of Jesus Christ, seeking to know the peace 
that passes all understanding comes from one person, and that is the person of Jesus Christ. And so salvation is only through him, and this is where we find meaning in life. So as you chew on these things, I want to ask you, what are your thoughts about this? What is your experience? Are you growing in grace? Are you maturing? Are you getting stronger? Are you going deeper? This is the whole purpose. We are to be growing. We are to be maturing. And this is what we're called to. If you read 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18 more closely, you'll see that this is exactly what we're supposed to be doing. I want to encourage you to leave a comment. Let's enter into a dialogue. Let's talk about what we're learning and what we're reading. And let's see how we can help one another to grow and grace. And then if you don't want to share a comment there, but you would like to share your thoughts with me directly, you can do so. My email is pastorrobert at keswickchapel.com. I would love to hear from you. I would love to pray with you and to pray for you. Reach out to us. Let us know what you're thinking and what you're learning. Father, we love you. We thank you for our time together. We pray that you have received all glory and honor from what we've said. And Father, we pray that you would help us to see today, help us to hear today, those around us, that we may be ready to step in and do what you call us to do. Father, give us the boldness of Christ to act when you do help us to see someone in need. Father, help us to do just what you're calling us to do. Nothing more, nothing less. May you receive all glory and honor in all that we say and do today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you'll go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.